or you can also call it as the coordinate of certain point. Let's now come to the previous whiteboard where we were talking about the slope of the straight line. Yes, you see there is a, uh, we have just taken, uh, we have just extracted few part of the coordinate system, you know, it's just the first quadrant. Let me just tell you again, if you notice this coordinate system, this is the first quadrant, you know, where both the axes are positive, we consider it to be the first quadrant. Then if you move in the counterclockwise direction, then we have first, second, third and fourth quadrant. So in that particular uh, image, we have just extracted the first quadrant. And suppose there are two points, let me now show you. Suppose this is the first point whose coordinates have been considered as x1, y1. You see, this is the first point, x1, y1. At the same time, we have been given another point, x2, y2. This is the other point, x2, y2. Now, we can obtain its slope very easily whenever we are given two points lying on a straight line. What's the formula? The formula is just simple, that is, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. m is the symbol for representing the slope of any straight line, and this is formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Basically, if you talk about this formula, this formula is nothing but rise over run. Rise over run simply means, if you talk about rise, rise is something that the difference in the vertical shift. If we talk about vertical shift, initially that point was y1 because, you know, from this axis we'll consider this particular distance to be y1. At the same time, the second point was at y2 distance. So if you need to get the vertical shift, that means this much of distance, this is y2 minus y1. Obviously, if you subtract this much distance y1 from this much distance y2, you will get that much of vertical shift. Similarly, there will be, you know, this is x1 distance. At the same time, this particular distance is the x2 distance. If you wish to get the horizontal shift, you will be uh, just uh, subtracting x1 from x2. So you will get an, uh, a horizontal shift from there. So these values actually have been uh, substituted here, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is how we may obtain the slope of any straight line. If you wish to take an example, let us now consider we have a kind of a straight line. Uh, let me use a straight line. Suppose this is a straight line and we must be given at least two points located on a straight line to get its slope. Suppose one of the point is 2 comma 3. At the same time, the other point has been given to us as, uh, let us consider it 6 comma uh, 10. So what we do? We simply have to consider one of the point to be x1 comma y1 because there are two points so we just use certain scripts after x and y here we again consider the points in the similar format x2 comma y2 so right now uh, we just have to consider uh, the formula that we oh it says that uh, the class will i think uh, expire in five minutes some passages there in the class okay let me just uh, minimize it and now if you wish to get the value of slope you simply have to apply the formula y2 minus y1 